Hi, I'm Vinit Kimire and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can point your domain from Cloudflare to AWS S3. So in this video, I'm going to create a S3 bucket and then I'm going to point my domain name from Cloudflare to my S3 bucket and I, you will learn everything from the beginning of the DNS setup to Route 53 to creating bucket policy and hosting a static website in AWS S3. So let's get started. So right now I'm logged into my Cloudflare account and I'm here at dash.cloudflare.com. You will have to do the same. You will have to log into your account and you will have to select your domain name and you will see this page. And then you will have to go to the AWS Management Console and you can see this. You will have to go to Services. You will have to search for Cloud 3 and this is it. And then let's wait. You will have to go to Hosted Zones. And here you will have to create a hosted zone. And here type your domain name like this, 0 dayguardxyz Here you can type anything you want, 0 dayguard. And I'm going to create a hosted zone. And I'm going to get inside it. And you can see this, it is telling me to add this name servers, right? It is telling me to add these NS records. So I'm going to go to DNS. So first before doing this, let me visit my web page. 0 day guard dot xyz so it is saying origin dns server and that is because nothing is set up on cloud right so now we will set up something we will have to put this ns records copy this and then put it here and at the rate and this and save again do this thing ns okay it's ns and add the rate and if you are wondering why I'm writing at the rate then that is for the main domain if you want to write some subdomain then you can write like this we need to zero data that's why like this right just write at the rate and that's enough for the main domain and now the third one ns and that is at the rate and this and save and the fourth one ns at the rate and save and that is it so let's place it again and it is still the same now we will create our s3 bucket go to s3 and create a bucket you can type the same name as your domain name so i'm going to write 0 xyz and then i'm going to choose us east one that is north virginia and next I'm going to go and click on next and allow all public access and I'm going to acknowledge this and next and then I'm going to create the bucket and that is it so now I'm going to upload a file eight files I have this index.html file it just has this thing and I'm going to click on next I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click on next again and upload and that is it and now I'm going to click on properties and I'm going to click on static website hosting use this bucket to host a website and I'm going to write the file name for index that is home page and the file name for error document that is error.html or you can write anything you want and save this and you can see this this URL this is the endpoint for your S3 bucket right so I'm going to visit this page and you can see this this is because our file is not getting the public create access it so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to permissions and bucket policy and I'm going to go to policy generator and for now I'm going to copy this ARN of my s3 bucket and I'm going to select s3 bucket policy I'm going to use principal strict and this is going to be get object right get object means getting objects from the bucket and here I'm going to type the Amazon resource name for the bucket and then that is it and this means the contents inside that bucket and then add statement and generate policy and then you have to just okay you have to just okay wait copy this thing and paste this here and save this and let's reload the page again wait we have unconnected right so we'll just replace this page for now so that is it 
now it is still this now we have to connect this we have to print our domain from cloud player to s3 bucket right so for that you will have just have to go to properties static website hosting you have to copy this thing up to this you don't need to copy the http part you just need to copy this thing and go to dns add record and you have to choose a record and add the rate and then paste this thing here and save this so this is a domain name and that's why you would have to choose cname if it was an ip address then that would be fine but for domain you have to use cname like this and save this and now you should see it right over here just wait and it will load it's not loading let me just copy this thing and let me paste this wait zero day god dot xyz is this fine so let me just go to ssl tns and then flexible and i think this should be fine now zero day god dot xyz But isn't it working? It's fine here. Let me try it right over here. CURL HTTPS 0 day God dot XYZ. It is fine here as well. So that is just for me. I'm just going to press CRL shift R and that might be fine now. 0 day God dot XYZ. So that is it. That is it and the thing is done. We just connected our domain from Cloudflare to Amazon S3 like this. And that is how you can do it and you can also upload other files. I'm just going to rename this for now. Rename this to error.html and put this thing here, 8 files, error.html upload and since we selected error.html for our error page let's just go and type something random and it's going to show it that is error.html right let's view the source and that's fine that is it for this video guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you need more videos on amazon or aws or anything similar you can just let me know in the comments and i'm going to feel free to create a next video for you so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.